What's going on my Ronin family? Today's video is actually gonna be from a live stream that I did recently, but before you watch that, make sure that you head over to Plot 4045 and bookmark it. As a matter of fact, all of my lands are in the description below. Feel free to come visit anytime. There's always support here and people who are happy to answer questions, and that leads me into also letting you know that guilds are on the way in Pixels. I will probably make a dedicated video soon, but all you have to do to get ready to join Meditate in the Pixels universe is go to your your dashboard in the top right head over to the left where it says guilds and you're gonna see a list of different teams just find meditate and join the watch list and you will be a candidate to be part of our guild in pixels which is very exciting we want to build a close-knit team be hands-on with everyone who's involved and give people opportunities to grow within our community really exciting times and without further ado let's get into the topic of today's video what's going on my Ronin family Elijah here back with another video I'm actually live streaming right now, but I wanted to give you this quick tip in pixels on how you can make some profit if the market conditions are there for you through brewing wine. And this is super, super easy. So you don't actually even have to brew the wine. This is just a little trick. If you take note of the price in the market and compare it to what Goose is going to pay you for his quests in the bottom southwest side of Terra Villa. So part of why I wanted to make this video was to highlight some pretty amazing community members who have been helping me out while I stream, just giving me advice, showing me certain tips and tricks about the game. So I figured why not point them out with a shout out on stream and in a dedicated YouTube video. First of all, shout out Gabriel Felix, shout out Gabby Plays, shout out Wolf Ninja, who's been such a great community member on my land. Shout out basically everybody that's been chilling in here and it's been an awesome stream so far. And for anyone who's new, you can go to the Drunken Goose and he will give you a quest. He will ask you to create a certain set of wines. Usually it's two cases. And today he asked me to make two cases of butter brew, which is 24 bottles of butter brew. He tells me to go to Winona's Winery. Winona's Winery is just in the bottom left. As soon as you walk out of here, you can click to press. And this is what he is referring to a case of butter brew, but we need two of them. Now, if you don't have all of these resources, 120 cooking mix, 288 butterberry, 72 bottles of potberry wine, and it's gonna be, you know, quite a task to get all of that. There is a way around this where you can still make a quick little profit if if the market conditions are favorable for you. For the sake of the video, let's just imagine we have none of those resources to make that case of butter brew. We don't have any potberry wines. Well, that doesn't matter because we can go straight over to the Bucks Galore. The key ingredient here is that Goose will pay you 1400 berry per bottle of butter brew. That is his price point. We're gonna bring him 24. He's gonna pay for all of them. And so if we do the math of that, he gives us 33,600 berry, but he also gives us two extra bottles bottles of butter brew. Right now, the price of one bottle is 1450. So let's say we add that in here as well and we actually add it in again. Goose is going to pay us 36,500 berry. Did I do that right, guys? LOL, math is hard. Yes, that's right. Okay, so I did this right. This is what Goose is gonna pay us. 36,500 berry. It's 1460 for 24 bottles. So make sure that you're doing this. You're checking in with him and finding out what he wants you to make because I can just go buy these bottles for 35,040 berry. And if we subtract that from what he's gonna pay us, we walk away with 1,460 berry, easy peasy. And sometimes this will be even higher and more profitable for you if you check the market first. This was us doing it at 1460 per bottle actually. So pretty much we end up making one bottle of butter brew by following this method. So why don't I just go ahead and complete that so I can show you what it's going to look like. And as we can see, this works out exactly to what we calculated it as 35,040. We're gonna buy 24 of them. Ah, so guys, last point from Gabriel is he's saying if you check even more details, like the price of butterberry cooking mix and potberry wine to produce the butterberry wine, sometimes it can be even cheaper than buying the butterberry wine directly. So that is where you really need to break out your calculator and see for yourself what does it cost me if I buy the butterberries directly, buy the cooking mix directly, and the potberry wine directly. 
how much cheaper is that? And then that way, because it doesn't cost energy to make those wines, you would also be gaining winery experience and then flipping it for profit still and probably for cheaper if you're doing it the harder way. I hope that all made sense, but that is a really cool point that Gabriel just made. Definitely appreciate you pointing that out. For our sake, we took the super shortcut route and just bought 24 bottles of butter brew wine directly. And now we're gonna talk to our man Goose. 33,600 berry, just as we said we were gonna get, plus two bottles of wine. These bottles of wine go for 1460. So now we take our bottles of butter brew and we go back to the Bucks Galore. And those other butter brews that were on the market, they have now sold. So the price has dropped a little bit. We're gonna lose about 20 berry of our profit, but ultimately we are still going to profit over 14 berry it's gonna be about 1440 or so right here so I am gonna list these for just under the floor at 1448 let's summarize what we just did 14 for let's get a new calculator out and make sure that this all made sense so in the end we're selling those two bottles for 1448 it gave us 33,600 so in the end we walk away with 36,496 berry and remember that we bought those 24 bottles for 35,040 so 35,040 minus this amount and our grand total is a nice juicy 1,456 berry that we basically had to do nothing to acquire. And now we can move on shortly after, talk to him in a couple days, get a new wine quest. We can either do it again, just like we did where we buy the bottles directly. If the price points make sense, we can buy the individual materials if that's cheaper and then make the wine ourselves gaining EXP. Remember wine does not cost us anything for most of them to brew. Or if you have the time and the energy and resources, you can go farm all the materials yourself and complete the quest the old fashioned way and make a very nice profit doing that as well. All right, guys, one more thing I wanna point out is that there is a whole quest guide on this really great site called web3 triads i'll leave a link in the description below where you can look at all the quests in the game including all the other wine quests where you will be able to see how much goose is going to pay you in berry how many extra bottles he's going to give you so you can follow the same formula to see if it's worth it to just directly buy the bottles of wine in the market and then sell them to him directly on that note i'm going to end the main making a video within the stream portion of my stream and get back to streaming with my crew over here. If you guys want to plug your Twitters or plug your land plots, feel free to do that now. Gabriel, Wolf, anyone who's in here hanging out with me because it's been super helpful for me to understand the game more. And I think that's what Pixels is really all about is community and helping each other out. And I really think that Pixels has one of the best communities of that. Certainly the best in this type of game right now in Web3. And it's been nothing but love from the moment that I've joined it. Wolf Ninja is Wolf Ninja on all socials. We got Trauma Beats at 3552 on his farm. And yeah, for Gabriel, who's been super useful, that is not his Twitter. That's just his in-game name. It's Broca. So if you see him in the Pixels universe, make sure to roll up, say hello. Thank him for helping me create this content. And on that note, I'm gonna wrap this video up. See you guys in the next one. Peace.